Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, A Dangerous Direction. I believe America is headed in a dangerous direction, but it is worse than America. It is the whole world. It is the great tribulation that Jesus talked about in Matthew 24, verse 21. It will be more damaging than anything that has ever happened on earth or ever will happen again. And except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Here are recent events that seem to indicate that we are getting close. Concerning world government, world religion, deceit, and censorship, on June 15th, UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez announced a plan to combat hate and lies on media platforms that subvert and harm the UN narrative. Critics say Gutierrez wants every nation to establish a group to silence anyone and everyone that disagrees with the UN. It is a plan to force everyone on earth to comply with the UN code of conduct, sometimes called a global ethic. It will ban freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and any other right to disagree with the UN on climate change, gender equality, LGBTQ issues, public health issues, or whatever the UN decides is global law. Concerning world government, on June 16th, Harbinger's Daily posted an article by Tim Moore about his interview of Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and what has happened since she attended the World Health Organization Assembly meeting at the end of May this year. Here is some of what Bachman said. These are quotes. Just one week after the World Health Assembly concluded, they dropped an absolute bombshell. A press letter went out that claimed that the European Union has already developed a global digital passport that would regulate the health status and also the ability for people to take transportation. This global digital passport, which is essentially would be a scannable QR code issued by your mobile phone, would reveal if the individual is in compliance with the mandates of the WHO and so has permission to be able to travel and have the freedom to move about. The WHO didn't wait to pass amendments or seek a global treaty, who announced on June 5th that they are adopting the system Europe has already come up with. How do you enforce a global government? The answer is through a global digital passport. This has become a reality. The WHO announced that once it takes control over the European digital passport, this will be the first building block, presumably soon followed by merging your digital currency and digital records as well. Your entire life will eventually be merged into a single digital QR code. When will the mandated global digital passport become effective? June of 2023. In other words, right now. This global digital passport is right now in effect. Moore and Bachman are very reliable people, and we are seeing global government beginning to come to pass now. There is an effort to speed it up, and people need to be rapture ready. Concerning wars and rumors of wars and the use of nuclear weapons during the tribulation period, Russia has threatened to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Russia has confirmed that it has sent nuclear weapons to Belarus, and more are on the way. Korea is testing ballistic missiles that can carry nuclear weapons. Iran is enriching uranium and trying to develop nuclear weapons. Saudi Arabia is demanding approval to build nuclear weapons in exchange for signing a normalization agreement with Israel. The accuracy of the Bible is amazing. Concerning an economic collapse, the U.S. Treasury announced that America's national debt topped $32 trillion on June 16th, and it will continue to rise. On June 19th, it was reported that Biden wants another $600 million to combat climate change. Concerning Jews in Judea fleeing into the wilderness at the middle of the tribulation period, on June 18th, the Netanyahu government passed a bill that will immediately take effect and greatly speed up the construction of houses in Israeli settlements 
in Judea and Samaria. In Bible terms, the fig tree is putting forth leaves, and it is a clear sign that the end of the age is approaching. The U.S. immediately said it is deeply troubled because it will make the two-state solution, the division of Israel, more difficult. It makes me think our leaders are begging God to curse America. Concerning the Temple Mount and a rebuilt temple, a member of Netanyahu's ruling Likud party has submitted a bill to divide the Temple Mount between Muslims and Jews. As expected, many Muslims and others are claiming that dividing the Temple Mount, the third holiest site in Islam, will lead to a religious war because this is part of a plan to rebuild the Temple. This is worth noting because the Bible indicates that the Temple Mount will be divided and Gentiles will possess the area that was the outer court of Herod's temple, Revelation 11, 1 through 2. Concerning a one world currency and a cashless society, on June 19th, the managing director of the International Monetary Fund said, in my words as I understand it, the IMF is working on a global digital cashless trackable system. The IMF believes that many different nations, each having their own different CBDCs that is good only in their own nation is a bad thing. The IMF believes a system that will allow every nation to use their CBDC on a global scale is a good thing. The IMF is working on a global digital cashless trackable system that will accept every nation's digital currency. One digital cashless system that will accept every kind of CBDC on earth and allow people to buy and sell all over the world sounds much like a one world digital cashless society. Finally, are you rapture ready?